Hi, welcome to this Business Leader Breakthroughs mini-sode, where we highlight the best bits of a previous show episode. If you enjoy these quick insights and want to check out the full episode, you'll find the link in the show notes. Or go to thebreakthrough.co. Now let the breakthroughs begin. Mike, how are you doing? I'm good, Ryan. How are you doing? Good. Oh, look, I'm doing uh, great. And there's some things we talk about with our clients, our members, Mm -hmm. uh, which we term success principles. We do. And one of them is about uh, health, family, work, in yes. that order. Yes. One of the other things we talk about a lot in success principles is working on the business. I think we observe many uh, leaders in business who get stuck in the operational mm-hmm. uh, tyranny uh, of always just trying to get things ticked off the to-do list and always managing the, the mm-hmm. urgent. Mm-hmm. Um, Mike, what's your your insight of uh, people that actually spend time working on the business on rather the than business. in it? Well, we, we, um, we borrowed a phrase from the guys who wrote The Four Disciplines of Execution. They talked about the whirlwind. Mm-hmm. And the whirlwind being all that stuff that's urgent and loud and uh, hot, you know, like fires that have to be fought, that kind of stuff. Uh, and it is easy to, for a whole variety of reasons to get stuck inside that stuff because you're busy with it, you feel important, you feel like you must be somebody who's you know, creating value because you're making, you know, making decisions here, there and everywhere. But actually, you're just kind of running on a treadmill going faster and faster and, and staying in the same place. What does on the business look like? It looks like an awareness of the bigger picture of where you want to take the business and what you need to do to get there. Mm-hmm. And it's usually not more firefighting. More firefighting doesn't usually get to that place where the business is operating like a machine. Mm-hmm. And our uh, good friend Mr. Einstein would say, you know, the definition of madness mm-hmm. is to uh, keep doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome. Yep. So if all you're doing in your business is fighting fires, that's what you're going to keep doing is fighting fires. So I think working on the business rather than in it is a, it's a pretty common term. Yeah. I think most yeah. people have probably heard yeah. of that. Um, how, how do you define the difference? The simple way of thinking about the on the business stuff is this is the business of the future that you're creating. The in the business is stuff that's already happened, so it's past. You are reacting, uh, re-acting, which means you're acting over and over again. So you're dealing with stuff that actually started somewhere in the past. On the business stuff is stuff that won't happen unless you act on it. Yes. So it's the projects, the initiatives, the kind of change of direction, the the building blocks for the future. So that's how I think about it. On the business is about the future, in the business is about the past. Spot on. And I'd really like to explore a couple of things. The first thing is how do you get to the on time when you are feeling so overwhelmed with the whirlwind? Mm -hmm. And then the second, uh, we use a uh, framework called Improve, Develop, Transform. Mm -hmm. Uh, Talk about with the audience how that works and how we can apply it. So firstly, when we're buried in the firefighting, we feel like we're in overwhelm, we've got Mm -hmm. too much Mm -hmm. on the go. Mm -hmm. How do we actually get to doing the on time? you're, you know, the first thing you've got in there is actually about the awareness piece. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're not aware that you're in firefighting, if you think this is normal, you know, yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, we talk about a fish in water. The fish doesn't know it's in, actually in water until you take it out, mm-hmm. right? If you think that that's normal and that's reality, then it will be. Uh, it really starts, the change process starts when you go, you know what, this is, this kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. When you've got that awareness, you've started the change process. You go from the awareness piece to, okay, what do I need to do? Mm-hmm. And then the commitment, so that's the clarity, and then the commitment, which is do it, mm-hmm. right? So the clarity piece is what do I need to do differently? And, and the answer to that is pretty simple. You have to create time because time is where what you use to pay attention and put energy into things. But if you don't create a block of time, if you don't get religious about creating time to work on the business, it simply won't happen. If you're still doing the same stuff that you've been doing because you're on autopilot and haven't thought about doing it different, then you're just on a decline. You just don't know it. You're on the way out, Mm -hmm. you just don't know it. So you've got to create that time to work on the future of the business. Mm. And we talk about creating time, but in reality we've got 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We can't can't actually create more time. So how do we we tackle it? We have to kind of uh, carve out a piece of time Mm -hmm. in our work week Mm -hmm. for the the on-the-business activities. Mm -hmm. And we call this our development day. 
And it is creating time, really, because otherwise you would just use it in the same old fashion. Yeah? Absolutely. So we, we create a time for on the business. Out of all of that mess, we say, we carve out, we, talk, we take a day a week. Yes. That's our development day. Yeah. I certainly find from a mental energy perspective, knowing that I've got that one day a week yeah. to work on the future of the business. Yeah. Uh, it's very rejuvenating for me. It gives me, I think, a sense of calm during the week that I know, mm -hmm. yep, look, I've got my other three or four days to work through what needs to be done, but I've got that day where I know that I'm really going to be moving the, the business forward. Sign up to your day a week, put it in the diary, communicate to your team that you are not going to be available, you are untouchable, uh, you know, uh, to the point that no one should be contacting you unless there has been a serious injury or fatality in your business. Yeah, pretty You know, I, I'm you know, being quite serious about yeah. that. You, you turn the email off, you turn the phone off, you go, here's a block of time that I can actually create the future mm. of the business. Mm. And, and it's just immensely powerful. Um, the interesting thing about that commitment stuff is you will have opportunities to kind of sell out and you will have opportunities to cop out and things will get hard. The ability, the determination to keep going, that's what builds character and it's totally. character that drives totally. change. Totally. Great resilience, all those, uh, yeah. all those uh, yeah, yeah, characteristics yeah. that are yeah. so, so critical. Yeah. We've talked about uh, on being the future of the business. Mm -hmm. Talk to us, Mike, about the Improve, Develop, Transform framework. Well, we borrowed, I guess, adapted and improved um, from the McKinsey three, they call it three horizons. Yes. And we, when we thought about it, we thought it in, of in terms of improving the business, developing the business and transforming the business. Mm -hmm. And that helped us and it still helps us. I mean, it's a practical thing in terms of is this project or initiative, is this about improving today's business? And that's about usually about profitability or efficiency, things like that. Um, it's about making our current business operate well, mm -hmm. while at the same time, the develop, that's, okay, what new products do we need to have in the pipeline? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, what changes do we want to make? What mm -hmm. technology do we want to bring mm -hmm. in? Uh, it's new processes, yeah. uh, new markets, new products, new customers, whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the, the development. And then the transform is literally changing the way the business operates. Mm -hmm. When I talk to uh, my members about Improve, mm -hmm. uh, I like to talk about a very famous New Zealand sailor uh, called Sir Peter Blake, mm -hmm. uh, a great sailor and also an amazing um, environmentalist as well. Mm -hmm. Great um, leader. Tragically uh, killed whilst pursuing his um, environmental uh, pursuits. Uh, but he led uh, an America's Cup challenge in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very famous sailing race uh, competed for internationally. And when he was head of the syndicate, he said, anyone in the organization can come and talk to me. Doesn't matter whether you're a sail maker, the skipper, one of the team that helps around the base, anyone can come and talk to me, but you have to be talking to me about one thing. Mm. And that one thing was, how do we make the boat go faster? Mm. Mm. And I think it's a great analogy for your business when you think mm -hmm. about the improved it's, it's, it's piece. Wonderful. You know, yeah. how do I make the boat go faster? So that would be like, uh, spending time to write a uh, process of probably something mm. that you do, but once it's in a process, once the business will actually do it consistently, mm. you're probably going to train and hand that off to, to somebody else. Mm. Um, spending time coaching, developing, mentoring people yep. is a classic uh, yep. improve uh, area as well. Mm. I think those are a really good um, mm. a good way to think about what should I be trying to improve. Think about mm. that. How do I make my boat go faster? One of the tools I like to talk about in the develop zone mm. is the ants off. Uh, look give it a Google it is a very simple matrix just mm. where you look at uh, your current products both new and existing and markets new and existing and it's just a really simple framework to kind of go where could we develop the business where yeah. could we grow could we go into new geographies could we yeah. take uh, these existing products into new markets you know how could we what else could we sell to our existing customer base and leverage the relationships we've already got mm. I think that's a uh, that's a goodie I, I think the hardest one to take immediate action on is really the transform one. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in the transform, you're really probably thinking in somewhere in the three to five to ten year horizon mm -hmm. for, your, for your business, mm -hmm. uh, thinking about what might it look like in the in the future. Actually getting out of your own environment, mm -hmm. I think uh, international conferences and following people that are influencers and leaders yeah. in your in your space is just a really good way and going, look, you don't have to spend um, days a week on this, but I think every, you know, once a quarter or something, have a, have a check in going, you know, where's my industry heading? Yeah. A am, I, am I about to get Ubered? 
would probably yeah. be a, a yeah, fear. Yeah. You know, I'm sure there was plenty of taxi companies uh, 10 or 15 years ago that could have seen what was going to yeah. happen. Well, they had the technology themselves. Yep. Nothing special about it. Yeah, yeah. Chose, uh, chose not to act on it. I think one of the great questions in that space um, that we've talked to people about and, and thought about for ourselves is that if we were starting out now, what would we do? Mm-hmm. Trying to kind of unlearn everything we've learned to date so that we can have a conversation with ourselves and our team and our markets and our collaborators and colleagues mm-hmm. and competitors mm-hmm. and stuff about, okay, so if we were going to start this business now, what would yeah. we do differently? Yeah. You, and you do have to kind of, for that period of time, not only turn your phone off and your emails off, you actually have to kind of mentally turn your business yeah, off. Yeah, totally. So that you are yeah. free to think freely. Yeah. You've got to ditch that, but we've always done it this way. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not going Everything to Everything you know, work. all your yeah. assumptions, because, you know, it's only it's only your version of reality anyway, of course. Totally. Man, that's just a hypothesis. It's so. a good, uh, good framework. Yeah. Okay, so how do we, uh, for our listeners who might be going, I like that, I need to get onto this, where's the starting point, what do they do? Create time. Set a time in their calendar, in their in their outlook or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we do a day a week. Every week we're doing a development day, working on the business, creating the future. Look, it's not easy because the hmm. you know the urgent always speaks louder than the important. For sure. But working on the future of your business is absolutely the important piece. So I would uh, highly encourage you to uh, get into that habit of at least the weekly spending time on doing a development day and uh, you'll see the results very, very quickly, both in your own uh, levels of satisfaction, I think, yeah. um, and also the growth of your people and your organization. No doubt about it. Thanks for joining us today, guys. 